Hey guys, Chris Cooley Shooter here. Um, I got a bit of a gear review today. Um, something I've been kind of wanting for a long time. Just something to have, something a little different. Um, it's, a, it's a play carrier. Um, also, I just wanted something to hold some mags. And, uh, and to look cool and maybe make it look like I'm LARPing around or something. I don't know. Whatever. But I would uh, kind of wanted something. And uh, a while ago I had uh, I'd ordered some plates. Um, some AR-500 plates from Can Armor, um, Canadian company. And uh, I got them, but then I needed a carrier. And uh, I, I looked around, like, I love 511s gear and things like that, and this and that. And, but then uh, I heard about uh, LOF Defense Systems um, in Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, they had, it looked like some really nice stuff. And uh, I, I definitely wanted to support a, you know, Western Canadian company. Uh, especially a company that's dealing with, um, you know, this kind of, uh, gear, um, considering our federal government's not very, uh, they don't really support this kind of stuff or anything like that, and, uh, fortunately I live in a province that's, uh, according to the IDLF, I'm a, I live in a free province where I'm free to buy this stuff and just have it um i guess it comes with the whole discussion of why would you have body armor in canada well, especially in canada huh, because i can um i got the ar 500 plates because they're heavier um because when i go to the range i want to be able to have a little extra weight so maybe i help me lose a lose an inch or two um because i could afford to lose that. Um, I have a very basic out setup right now um, as far as what I got here. So this is it. Um, I got the uh, four AR5 or AR15 tall mags. Um, they have the, the hard shell in there and uh, you can tighten them up with a bungee. So I got three on the, the front plate. And then uh, I kind of lined it up as to how it fits and I put the fourth one on the side. And then I got two pistol mags, just the nine millimeter ones to start with. And uh, I just got a couple of FN mags in there for right now just to kind of, was more for fitting. What I might do is I might get a couple more. Um, they had a shorter version which I think it's only like what, this tall uh, AR-15 mag holder. And I might get three more of those and just but stick it out. But I still want it out too, hard, too far. But um, given the fact that we have to have like five round mags, the guy who does want to do any sort of shooting, um, you kind of have to have the mag capacity. So that's what I got on it. Um, I picked up a couple of their, uh, um, their patches. Um, one of the, my most favorite patches, uh, I will not comply patch, but it's on a different jacket right now, but I got the Canadian Maple Leaf one and, uh, fitting for this year is the, uh, COVID-19 one. So hopefully you guys can read that. Um, and then I just got a, just got a Trigger Tech one on there. And then I came with my Trigger Tech, another good Canadian company, um, providing quality AR-15, uh, and other triggers as well. Remington 700, the FX9. Um, so, so what I have is two can armor plates. They say they're level four. Um, and then I have some level 3A soft body armor in behind it. Um, I needed some sort of backing, I was told. Um, 
just to absorb if, if I ever did take a round just to absorb otherwise you said the steel doesn't absorb like it just transfers all that energy back into the body which would be just as harmful almost so um I got that and uh just uh yeah thought it'd be a pretty decent setup um you know to start with or whatever figured out um I do have some sort of armor on the side some soft armor uh, just more for rigidity and being able to actually put stuff on here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put the pistol mags down a little bit lower or if I end up moving them around or my other thought is I could put some, a couple pistol mags on each of here I could carry and then especially like they fit Glock mags as well which is nice so that way I can run my FX9 um, you know just when I'm out and about um, not that I really need to have this out and about but uh, it's more of a novelty and uh whatever i mean it's not cheap but uh i mean i go to the range enough i shoot enough steel that uh i mean uh i've been to cowboy action competitions where i mean i've been smacked with a ricochet i got one right here once luckily i had a pair of glasses and it it uh, hit and deflected off the, off the lens and it didn't hurt but uh you never know you never know what can happen you never know who the next guy is at the range too right um, so, I mean, personal security is nothing to shake a stick at, but I'll just try, see if I can slap it on here. Um, uh, yeah, so you can order them on right online, all that stuff. I, uh, was in town for, I was in the city for work. They're based out of Edmonton. Edmonton, Alberta. So. I was there for work, so I just... Uh, went and... Uh, got fitted there. So, so yeah, no... It's fairly nice. I can uh, grab my eggs if I have to. I have a little lot of practice. I log a little bit. Uh, being a left handed shooter when it comes to rifles, uh, yeah, I gotta have everything orientated that way so I can grab it. But then I'm actually a right handed pistol shot, so I know. All sorts of crazy but uh it's got a little pocket up here uh it's not a big pocket uh it's for like range memberships or credit card or whatever if you need to have something in there or piece of id or whatever so but yeah you know, it fits pretty nice it's quite comfortable actually and uh it uh it's got these pads that uh you put on, and I mean, it, uh, I mean, just, like, to lift it, I, I don't even know what it weighs, I should weigh it, but, uh, I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, it's actually fairly heavy, but, when you put it on, um, just the way, like, it, the amount of pressure that it has here, compared to, like, on your shoulders and stuff, it feels like it, uh, um, feels fairly well, fairly, pretty good, um, I have, uh, let's see. So, I'm just trying to find the right spot to how it's going to feel. Or if I need to go a little bit shorter. Yeah. Nope, definitely not doing that one. Yet. Anyways, that's something I got to figure out. But, uh, yeah, no, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, join a gun club, get out there, do some shooting, get yourself some, some cool gear, support some Canadian companies. If you're from Canada, if not, well, support local, you know, that doesn't hurt. Gotta keep these economies going with everything that's going on. So, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Cheers.